Hey yo, what is good everybody? Um, wanted to put this video together to debrief, talk about uh, our experience, my thoughts after the bacon beat down this past weekend in Daytona, Florida. So first and foremost, let me say that we've never participated in this event ever. Um, it's been around for quite a few years and really was just not on our radar. It's about five hours north and we haven't had a need for developmental events in our program for quite some time. Um, we like to use events purposefully. We like to use them for testing purposes. We like to use them to uh, better fine tune the, 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 the art of competition. Um, there's a multitude of reasons why we would choose to compete. The, 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 for us, there always has to be a reason. There always has to be a reason why we're going to change our training design around doing competition. There has to always be a goal or something attached behind it. And for this event, for us in particular, um, Locally, we are in a developmental stage in our program. So we are going to continue looking for events of this size, this caliber um, for our developmental crew. Um, so uh, that's the reason why we decided to get behind the Bacon Beatdown this year. And I'm actually very happy that we did that. Number one, like I said, it's, it's about five hours from Miami. So it's a really easy trip for us. Um, another thing, I think the venue, the location where the hotel is in proximity to the beach, where there's a water event, the whole thing, I cannot imagine anything that's more convenient. Uh, just based on that, it's a huge win for me personally, being able to watch some athletes and spend some family time and enjoy myself and, and, and get all of that from the experience was was very helpful for me personally and from a personal standpoint um i feel very much recharged uh after going to that event so from a personal standpoint very successful from a program standpoint it was also very successful because like i said we're using these events from a de developmental perspective so uh, you know for our athletes who have had like top tier sanctional experience or previous regional experience crossfit games experience you know, Dubai experience, events on that level, doing events like this is not really the priority. Again, we use it for the develop for the development of competitors. That's an art. That's something that I don't think exists now a lot. I think right now a lot of the focus is on the, the, the top 1% and the top tier, and there's not a lot of quality developmental events. So again, I'm, I'm very grateful to have had this in our backyard so we can go out there with our crew. Um, the, the performances were absolutely outstanding. We had uh, a, a training camp built around this event. So we've tested and retested these events like crazy. So I think a great deal of our success is due to that and the commitment of our athletes who spent endless amount of time at these camps and the training sessions that we rebuilt around the event. Um, I think that's a major contributor to the success that they experienced. Um, really though, I can only talk about two folks because we had two outstanding performances that ended up, uh, both of these ladies on the podium. So Jasmine and Leslie major props to you guys. Um, it's absolutely incredible to watch people in the gym and develop, you know, and, and, and some people often give this, this, this essence of, of, you know, they're, they're unsure or they're insecure of their fitness level, how much they should push or what their movement patterns should or shouldn't look like. And then to see these people, especially these two women on the competition floor and kind of shed all of that skin and, and, and go out there and crush and look very determined in that effort was, was absolutely phenomenal. It's inspiring to see the approach that people take to competition versus training. And by doing things like that, it brings those things to light and it shows me who needs to do more competition style training and who can actually pull back and do less. So um, from that perspective, it was absolutely phenomenal. And, and you know, I don't want to go and leave people out, but the, 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 uh, all of the results that we had, all of the placements that we had were far superseded people's testing times and people's testing results. So really, we couldn't have asked for anything else. Um, in regards to the actual events, uh, how it was structured, you, you know, it ran on time for the most part. These guys did an absolutely phenomenal job uh, considering what's going on in the world with all of this pandemic, 
crisis, uh, people being very scared, people being very insecure, other people not caring at all. And I think they managed it phenomenally. Uh, they were very mindful of that. I, I, uh, you know, after coming home, reflecting on the event, you know, um, it's, it's the most people that I've seen really in one place since Wadapalooza, but really it was not overpacked at all whatsoever. Everyone who was not competing was wearing a mask at all times. They, they really went, uh, great lengths to, to keep people, uh, uh, socially distant. So, uh, major props for them in regards to programming. I would give it a C. I think it was okay. I do think the standards were fair and clear. There's a few changes that I would have made to the programming. I think overall, even coming from me, this is hard to say, but it was way too heavy. I think there there was a very dominant hinging pattern to almost every single workout. Um, I probably would have would have uh, considered making some changes to that. Um, you know, so that's why I would give it a C because I don't think it was a very well rounded test in regards to that. Overall, the event would get a B from me. I'm, I, again, I'm very stoked and very grateful to have had the opportunity to go out there with my team, with our crew, and bond and take my family and just the whole thing was great. So um, much props to everyone who came out, who's been supporting us and who really gave their effort this weekend. And also, most importantly, to the team who is planning and, and, and prioritizing their time around doing something like Bacon Beatdown. Takes a tremendous set of balls to put together something like that all things considered what's happening in the world right now. So to those guys, thank you very much. Peace.